Hi, I'm Marco, a tech lead at Grafana Labs. In this video, I'm going through a tutorial showing you how to get started with Grafana Mimir. In this tutorial, I'm going to run a highly available Grafana Mimir cluster in monolithic mode. I will also run Prometheus and Grafana. Prometheus is used to scrape metrics and remote write the metrics to Grafana Mimir. Grafana is used for querying the metrics. This tutorial is available in the Grafana Mimir repository. The first step is to clone the GitHub repo. I already have a clone on my local machine. You can see a terminal on the right side of the screen. I navigate to the tutorial directory. This directory contains a Docker Compose setup. Typing Docker Compose up, I start Grafana Mimir, Prometheus, Grafana, and Minayo. At this point, Grafana Mimir cluster is already running and fully functional. The architecture we run in this tutorial is composed by three Mimir instances, Nginx, used to load balance read and write requests to the Mimir cluster, Prometheus, configured to scrape metrics and remote write to Mimir, Grafana, configured with some pre-installed Mimir dashboards, and finally, Minio object storage, used to store Mimir time series data and rules configuration. In this setup, there are two endpoints exposed. Grafana, listening on port 9000. Nginx load balancer, in front of Mimir, listening on port 9009. I open Grafana and I show full screen. I navigate to the list of data sources. Grafana has been pre-configured with the Mimir data source. All dashboards query metrics from Mimir. I navigate to the list of dashboards. Grafana Mimir is released with a comprehensive set of production-ready dashboards and alerts. Grafana has been pre-configured with some of these Mimir dashboards. I open the Vrites dashboard. This dashboard shows the traffic on the write path, which are the remote write requests from Prometheus to Mimir. You can see the request rate, the latency, and other information. Right now, in our test Mimir cluster, we are ingesting 300 samples per second for a total of about 9,000 series. The gateway metrics are missing because in this setup, I'm not running any authentication gateway in front of Mimir. Another useful dashboard is the reads dashboard. Similarly to the writes dashboard, this dashboard shows the traffic on the read path, which are the queries from Grafana to Mimir. You can see the request rate, the latency, and other information. Mimir also exposes a set of administration pages. In this tutorial, I want to show you the ring status page, where you can see the cluster is composed by three instances and they are all in the active state. We will get back to this page in a few minutes. Before proceeding with the tutorial, I want to show you the Grafana Mimir configuration. Mimir is configured to run with target all, which means all the core Mimir components run in the same process. This is what we call the monolithic mode. Additionally, Mimir is configured to also run the alert manager in the same process. Mimir forms a cluster using member list, a protocol based on gossip. In order to join the cluster, each instance needs to find other instances. In this setup, Mimir is configured to discover other instances directly via their host name. Now, in a production cluster running on Kubernetes, you can create a Kubernetes service resolving to all Mimir pod IPs. And then you set the Kubernetes service address in the join members configuration field. The blocks 
Alert Manager, and Ruler are configured to store data in MinIO. MinIO is running locally as part of the Docker Compose setup. In a production cluster, you can use AWS S3, Google Cloud Storage, Azure Blob Storage, or OpenStack Swift. The ruler, which is responsible for evaluating recording and alerting rules, is configured to send alert notifications to the alert manager running in the same process. And finally, I configured the external URL of the alert manager, which is the nginx.balancer URL in this setup. The external URL is used to generate the URLs in the alert notifications. Let's continue with our tutorial. I want to create an alert which fires if a Mimir instance is unhealthy. The alert will be created using the Grafana UI, but will be set up in Mimir. Grafana interacts with Mimir using the Mimir APIs. I open the Grafana alerting UI and I click on the new alert rule button. I insert the alert name and I choose Managed Alert as a rule type. I select the Mimir data source, and I'm going to create a new namespace and group. Namespaces and groups are used to organize and group recording and alerting rules. I call it Test Namespace and Test Group. Finally, I insert the query to be alerted on. Up equals zero. Now, to run this tutorial quickly, I'm going to reduce the for duration to 10 seconds. I click the Save and Exit button. The alert is now in the creating state. Grafana is calling the Mimir API to create the alert in Mimir, and Mimir will start to evaluate the alert rule soon. Similarly, we can create a recording rule to create a metric with the number of healthy instances in our cluster. Recording rules can be created through the Grafana alerting UI as well. I click the new rule button and I insert the name of the recording rule, sum column up. This time I choose manage recording rule. I select Mimir as a data source and I'm going to use the same namespace and group I created previously. Finally, I insert the query to count the number of healthy instances. Sum up. I click the Save and Exit button. The recording rule is now in the creating state as well. I want to check the recording rule I just created. I open the Grafana Explorer page and I query the recording rule. Sum column up. I select the last few minutes. As you can see, the value is three, which is the number of healthy instances in our cluster. As a final step in this tutorial, I want to simulate an outage. I'm going to kill one of the three Grafana Mimir instances running the command docker compose kill and the name of the instance to kill. I may kill the docker, the instance one, two, or three. I randomly pick Mimir three. In the top right corner of my screen, you can see the remaining two healthy instances are complaining they can't talk to the third instance anymore. This is expected. However, since Grafana Mimir runs with a replication factor of three, it can tolerate an instance failure. To show you Mimir is still working properly, I open the Writes dashboard. As you can see, Mimir is still ingesting the metrics from Prometheus and serving the queries to populate this dashboard. I can also show you the Reads dashboard, which is all green since all queries are still succeeding even if one of the three instances is unhealthy. I want to go back to the ring status page. I click the refresh button. 
As you can see, now the third instance is unhealthy, but the remaining two are still healthy and active in the cluster. This is enough to keep Mimir up and running properly. In the meanwhile, the recording rule has been evaluated at regular intervals. Let's try to query back again. Some column up. I select the last few minutes again. As you can see, starting when we simulated the outage, the value of the recording rule decreased to two because there are only two healthy instances in our cluster. Similarly, we can check out the alert rule we created, which is now in firing state because one of the three instances is unhealthy. In the contact points tab of the alerting UI, you can create and configure your alert notification channels. For example, you can send your alert notifications through email or PagerDuty or Slack and many other integrations. To recover from the outage, I'm going to start the third instance again, Docker Compose Start Mimir 3. I open the ring status page one last time and I click the refresh button. The third instance is now up and running and active in the cluster. And finally, I'm going to check out our alert rule, which is now resolved since the unhealthy instance has been restarted and it's now healthy in our cluster. To sum up, in this tutorial, I run a cluster of three Grafana Mimir instances. I created a recording and alerting rule using the Grafana alerting UI. Finally, I simulated an outage and show you how Mimir kept working successfully even if one of the three instances was unhealthy. You can learn more about Grafana Mimir at the link you can find on the screen. Thanks for watching.